Okay, let's look at Griffith's electrodynamics problem 5.24. We are asking ourselves what um, current arrangement will give us this uh, vector potential. So um, A equals just K some constant in the phi hat direction and we're using cylindrical coordinates here. Um, so we have to be a little bit careful with this, um, like Griffith says. And so the way we're actually going to do this is uh, we're going to use uh, the equation uh, del cross b equals mu naught j. All right. So, uh, and and we're going to use uh, in place of b here the equation b equals del cross a or the curl of a is equal to b. All right, so what is the curl in cylindrical coordinates? Well, I happen to have that right here. So um, how are we gonna do this? We've got a whole bunch of partial derivatives in here, and there's only a phi hat component uh, to this vector potential. So here, uh, this vector v will be uh, a, and we're going to see where is there a phi hat, uh, a phi uh, component. All right, there's no z component, this term goes away. There's no, um, uh, this, this vs is also zero, that goes away, and vz, right, vs. So the only terms we're left with are this uh, v phi here, partial uh, of, of v phi with uh, respect to z, and we notice there is no z dependence here, so this also goes away, and we're left with this uh, v phi. Now, there is no s dependence in this, but uh, we, because we have this uh, multiplied by s here, uh, we still, we, we don't end up with zero right here. So let's uh, go ahead and write out this, uh, this del cross a right here. So again, all these terms are gonna go to zero except for this one, um, s times k, let, let's just write this out. So one over s, and then we'll have a partial uh, with respect to s and then s times k, uh, this uh, uh, k is this v sub phi right here, so k s, this term right here, okay? And then uh, this is multiplied by the z uh, unit vector. All right, so partial of s with uh, of this quantity here is just k, so we just get a k, make that lowercase k, over s. All right, so we're halfway done. We've taken the curl of A and gotten our B. Now to find J, which is the current that we're looking for in the end, we need to take the curl again. So uh, now we'll be taking the curl of both sides of this equation. So meaning the curl of B is equal to the curl of this thing. And we are right back to our old friend uh, this thing that I uh, that I crossed out. Okay, now notice uh, now. Ooh, I forgot to put my z component vector on. Right, so now we have a z uh, component vector on here, unit vector. Um, so now we need we now we do care about the uh, v sub z terms. All right, so there's one here and one here. I already crossed them out, but let's uh, go back and look at them now. Um, is there any uh, phi dependence in this v sub z? All right, so here's the v sub z. Uh, this this part it has the z component. There is no phi dependence. All right, so this one is still zero. Uh, this one here, though, uh, there is an s dependence now. Okay, so let me come over to a new sheet and let's write this. Again, this is what we're going for here, and we are just keeping this term, this term right here. So there's this minus sign right here, minus sign, d by ds, oh boy, s, this is an s, uh, of vz, which is uh, this part right here, so k over s. That's the, the V sub Z, the Z component part. 
and uh, and then this is uh, this is multiplied by the phi hat unit vector now. All right, so we have k as a constant can come out. What is the uh, derivative of one over s? Well, we get a minus sign out, which will cancel this minus sign, so that becomes a plus and goes away. And then we have one over s squared. So remember, we have our k, and then um, when we take this derivative, we have a one over s squared. And we actually would get a m minus one over s squared, but the minus signs canceled with that. And, and then we have our phi hat unit vector. Uh, del cross b is equal to this, and we're almost done. Now all we have to do is remember that what we were actually after was the current distribution, or de uh, the current density. All right, so remember that del cross b is equal to mu naught j. And this j is actually the droid that we're looking for. Let's turn sideways here. Well, it's probably bad practice. Cut off a new little chunk of territory and just write our final answer. All we're going to do is divide by mu naught. So uh, we have our k and we have our uh, mu naught is going to divide over and our s squared and then we have our phi hat unit vector. And then this is the um, current distribution uh, th that will give rise to uh, this this uh, this vector potential uh, that we wanted in the beginning.